Tough road trip down in Durango and then to Gunnison, um, and they did a really good job. Uh, one, we had some COVID issues last week, so we were a little bit shorthanded going in. Um, so we started a little bit slow at both places, but uh, responded really well, and these two both played really well. Sierra had 31 kills and, and six sets, and obviously Sabrina was our next set of the week, so that's why they're sitting here. And they. Um, they made the bus trip home very happy. So um, yeah, it was a good weekend. And th those are tough places to play. We've we've lost matches at Fort Lewis when we were nationally ranked. Gunnison had us on the ropes last year. We were down 11-14 in the fifth and came back and won. Um, so it was important to get both of those wins in three. This week, uh, back at home after two weeks on the road in some South Coast schools. What do you know about that? Uh, just watched a lot of video on Black Hills. It's just starting on South Dakota Mines. They're a very athletic team, and if they're in system, they're, they, they're dangerous. Um, so we got to make sure that we put a lot of pressure on them with our serves and um, offensively as well. But it's going to be a challenge. Um, you know, we love playing at home. We think we have the best fans in the RMAC. So um, we'll welcome with open arms. We'll welcome them with open arms. So. Sierra, you've come off the bench a couple of times this season and have a big game. That uh, kind of worked into to be your, your role, or what's your mindset? Yeah. How's that opportunity? You know, every time I go in, I just try and do the best that I can and try and support those guys. So they make it easy. <laughs> so, yeah. We do not consider Sierra a, a sub. I mean, we have three really good outsides, and it's just that's one of our hard decisions every day is who are the two that get to play. So, yeah, she be yeah, she's not a sub. Sabrina, on the other hand. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you letting her go out there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sierra, I mean, the, the, obviously the, the work you got in last spring is yeah. huge and still to be you know, a, a freshman like pretty much like everybody else. How much did that help going into this season knowing, okay, I can come off the bench, I can start, I can do kind of whatever because I can get it. Right. Um, I think last year was really beneficial. It kind of, we got that experience under our wing and it was kind of nice to have that last year and still or be considered a freshman because we've already played some college games, but then again, we're freshmen, so it's kind of like a new start. So that's kind of nice. You can still just be a goofy kid. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Just enjoying our time. You don't have to grow up until you're at least a sophomore. Right. Yeah. At least. Yeah. With, with the outsides, with the depth you've got is it it's like get me in there you know, let, let me get a chance because you're getting such great sets out there and you can tell just how the pins can really right. kind of take over on yeah this team. I think all of us like the three outsides and even the three right sides we're all super competitive and of course all of us really want to play but at the end of the day if Sydney or Holly or any of them are in I just do my best to support them as much as I can and they do the same for me so you can also kind of watch when you're on the bench and yeah. see maybe where, where the holes might yeah. be on the other side. Exactly. Yep. It's just that little, little bit of knowledge goes a long way. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. We've kind of been talking about it, and I think we've said in the past that the depth on the team this year, it seems like we have a different RMAC player, et cetera, the week every week. What's that kind of like for, for you guys? Cool. <laughs> I just think it shows how good we can be. Um, like. All of us, even if we're not all on, like one person will step up and take control, or we can rely on each other to um, like have a big role on the team. We don't all have to be on, but um, we know that we can support each other and rely on each other um, to accomplish what we need to. See, setting the different outsides, I know everybody everybody likes the ball mm -hmm. just a little bit different. Kind yeah. Of have to glance over and see who's, who's on the floor with it certain times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're all pretty easy to set and um, like with their verticals and they all have their strengths. So um, if I put up a good ball, I know that um, any one of them can terminate the play. So how, what is Sierra like? Where does she want the ball? Sierra, um, well, she jumps high. So the ball has to be higher than like um, a holly, but it is also like compared, it's more of like a, I don't know, like a Sydney set. So higher and Fast. That's what I would say. She, she's getting that down, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Our max out of the week is kind of a mixed 
bag for players. So sometimes it means a lot, sometimes it's just kind of another home day. What, what is it for you? Um, I think it's pretty cool um, to be recognized, but also it does show how good the team is. Like I couldn't have got that award without um, like the passes or the hitters. So it just shows this week our team was very um, well-rounded with um, passing and hitting because like getting the setter of the week, you have to have the pass and have to have the hit. So it just showed that it was a team um, like award for this week. And Bronx was really good rocking. Can you talk a little bit about it as a player? What does it mean to be coming back and hopefully having a big crowd on Friday? I'm excited, and it's parents weekend, so I know all of our families are coming up. So I think it'll be really fun to play two games at home with like the amazing crowd and everyone. So Dave, both, both matches last weekend got behind early in the first set, and then once you took the lead, it's like, okay, we're kind of back and we're just going to kind of dominate. It's kind of good to see how they can I know you don't ever want to try. Yeah, from a coach's perspective, you don't want to see that. You don't want to be down 20 to nothing before they turn it on. Um, and I think, it, for me, it's just an expectation that I know how good they can be, and then we just had that slow start. So it's, it's more of a challenge for me this week. What are we going to do in practice to make that better the next time we play? I mean, they're really the last time we came out and really played well from 0-0 was against Metro. We were up 2-0 against them. And it shows that we can do it, but we were pretty fired up for that one, playing the number two team at home. And these weren't um, nationally ranked teams at their place, so I think we just took them for granted a little bit. And what we have to work on is just that consistency, because after our second game at Western, Coach Strong just kind of looks at me and she goes, holy cow, we are really good. And we've just got to find a way to play at that level more consistently. Girls, could you just kind of feel that change over the weekend? It's like, wow, we we look like we know what we're doing now. Yeah, I feel like once we get into a rhythm um, and we all like come together, the flow of the game is a lot better. Where like in the beginning, we were kind of like feeling out the other team, like, ooh, like what are they gonna give us? Or like, um, how good are they gonna be right now? And like kind of playing the score. But once we're on, um, it kind of shows where all of our strengths are and how good we can be. Kind of back to what you were just saying, is that, is that just like a mid-season poll, or is that a, we've been on the road for a while, or, or neither? Or? Um, I think that's part of it. I mean, those are long bus trips to both of those places. Um, you know, some of our upperclassmen called it bus legs. Um, but, you know, we get off the bus three hours before the match, so that's not necessarily it. And the same thing happened at Metro. So I think it's it's just a little bit of mental prep um, and whatever that trigger is. Obviously, we, we hit it before we played Metro, and we've just got to make sure that we hit that trigger before we play any of these matches. And it's always been pretty good at home. Um, it's just kind of when we're on the road and, um, you know, what we expect on the other side of the net, like she says. And we talk about that. We don't want to box. We don't want to dance around the ring for, you know, two or three rounds. We want to go out and throw punches right away. We want to show them our best. And sometimes it just takes us 10, 15 points to get there. Question of the week. What would be the theme song of your life? What would be the theme song of your life? What's the Beatles song that talks about a day in the life? <laughs> I'm going with that one. That was easy. I would say Party in the USA would be mine. <laughs> We're looking for a setter for <laughs> immediately. Uh, let's see. I think I'd have to go with a pocket full of sunshine. <laughs> That's a good one.